Is fig a non-veg fruit? Let us try to find out the answer in this video. So in NEET 2025, there was the statement, fig fruit is a non-vegetarian fruit as it has enclosed fig wasp in it. So we had to tell whether the statement is correct or not. Let us try to find out what is the reality. So if you see NCRT, in the chapter number 11, Organism and Population, under the topic of mutualism, there is an uh, example, the female wasp uses the fruit, fig fruit they mean to say, not only as an OV position, that is egg laying site, but uses the developing seed within the fruit for nourishing its larva. The fig wasp pollinates the fig inflorescence while searching for the suitable egg laying site. Now you may get confused over here that the female wasp uses the fruit as an oviposition site and the wasp also pollinates the fig inflorescence. Now once there is a fruit, there is no need of pollination, right? But here the terminology that is used fruit is not actually fruit. It is basically syconium. So though it looks like a fig uh, fruit completely developed, but inside it if you see, it will be having lot of immature flowers. So this is basically an immature fruit. This is a false fruit. We call it as syconium. So basically it is a receptacle which has large number of very tiny flowers inside. So these are the tiny flowers which are yet to be pollinated. And who is going to pollinate them? The wasp. But the question is from where will the wasp enter over here? So you can see over here, there is an entry point over here. Let us see in the next slide over here. Yeah. So this is basically called osteol. So this is the osteol from where the female wasp enters inside. The female wasp will enter inside. It is going to pollinate these female flowers and then it is going to lay the eggs. So what the statement NCRT says that wasp is laying the uh, eggs in the fruit so that fruit means over here this syconium they are talking about right now what is going to happen these eggs are going to hatch after a few days but there is something very strange story about those eggs let us see over here what happens to the eggs so after laying the eggs after almost like five weeks the eggs start to hatch Right. So this is how the eggs will hatch and these are the males that are going to hatch first. These golden color insects are the male wasp and they are wingless. They would be first to hatch. Now the females are yet to hatch but these male wasp are going to reproduce with the female unhatched eggs. Yes, you are hearing it right. The male wasp are going to reproduce with the females. Okay. And the female are going to be born with the, uh, like uh, the, they will be carrying the eggs along with them because they are pregnant. And then they will dig the tunnel and from this tunnel, the female would be coming out. Males will not be having any wings. So they are wingless. So they will be just digging the tunnel and only females would come out from this hole. And these females will be going to another uh, fig and they will do the same. So now uh, the question is that when we are eating the fig, we don't see any kind of wasp inside them the dead bodies of the wasp what happens to the dead bodies because males are going to be remaining inside so there is an enzyme called fissin so this enzyme is going to digest all the dead wasp that are present inside the see the females have came out but the males will remain inside while digging the tunnel so these are digested by an enzyme called fissin so once the fruit is digesting all the wasp, there is no wasp present in the fruit that we are eating of the fig. And hence we can say that fig is not a non-vegetarian fruit, right? Because all the wasp that are there, there is no dead body of the wasp. There is no flesh of the wasp inside. All the wasp are digested inside with the help of an enzyme called fissin. And all their components are converted into simplest form. 
now i i think uh, the, now this line should make uh, the sense the female vase uses the fruit so do understand here the fruit basically means the inflorescence or the syconium uh, as an oviposition site and the developing seed within the fruit for nourishing the larva the larva the male and the female that developed inside they will also get the seeds inside so here the line is there the fig wasp pollinates the fig inflorescence so this line was there in neat 2025 where they had put this line that the fig wasp uh, pollinates the fig fruit and that is why that was given incorrect if you see the second line over here the fig wasp and the fig tree exhibit mutual relationship as the fig wasp completes its life cycle in the fig fruit and the fig fruit gets pollinated by the fig wasp which is incorrect fig fruit is not going to get pollinated always the flowers will get the pollination fruit are not going to get so here the correct answer will be both statements are incorrect right so fig fruit is a non vegetarian fruit no it is not a non vegetarian fruit because all the wasp insides are getting digested now some of you uh, may counter question ke sir uh, like uh, although the dead bodies of the wasp are digested but still like the digested dead body is there inside the fig fruit so then why can't we call it as uh, like a non veg so let me uh, give you an example now suppose let us say i am eating this uh, lettuce or uh, whatever the vegetable that is shown in this image right now this vegetable is growing in the soil from the soil it is going to get all the mineral nutrition now this soil may be having some dead insect dead earthworm and many other things right so this dead portion gets converted into minerals and nutrients and that goes into the soil and when i eat this vegetable so can i call that i am a non vegetarian because ultimately i am not eating the vegetable i am eating the insects you would say no sir it is not like that right so the same way as we are see we have to focus on what we are eating not on what our food has eaten previously right like we don't have to focus ke plant ne kya khaya hai we have to see ke are we eating the plants or not i'll give you one more example let us say ke this man is going this man in this image is eating a chicken piece right but the chicken has eaten the grains so can i say that this man is eating vegetarian food because ultimately chicken ne to fir this grains are only it has eaten no right that is illogical so we have to see ke what exactly we are eating whether that is an animal product or not right so i hope that uh, would uh, make the sense and now you have got the answer so finally fig is not a non vegetarian food thanks a lot